magma plume running all the way from Mexico discovered under Yellowstone supervolcano. An underwater fountain of magma has been found beneath Yellowstone supervolcano, heightening fears that a major eruption is on the way. Researchers found a column of hot volcanic ash known as magma plume beneath the volcano. They believe it stretches all the way from Mexico. And we know Mexico, of course, is in, uh, it's got a, a mantle plume, a hot spot. The Caribbean islands are all volcanic islands. We have the Colima volcano and the Popo, Mount Popo volcano, very active in Mexico. Now, experts suggest the plume could be the source of the heat that drives so much of the volcano surface activity, such as its world-famous bubbling springs. The Yellowstone supervolcano has over 10,000 hydrothermal areas and over 60% of the world's geysers. The news follows a spate of four mini tremors in the area recently, raising fears Yellowstone supervolcano is about to blow. Now, the magma plume is an unusual geological feature that lies at the boundary between the Earth's core and the mantle and rises through the mantle into the crust. Though still just a theory, this abnormality would exist as a vertical stream of magma. Whether or not the mantle plume might lie beneath Yellowstone National Park has been hotly debated for decades, but using new imaging techniques, two researchers at the University of Texas suggest they have finally found proof of the elusive column. They analyzed seismic activity around the Yellowstone using data obtained from the U.S. Array Network, which has listening stations positioned across North America. And based on these readings, the team discovered a 45 by 34 mile channel, 72 by 55 kilometers, where seismic waves are slower. And they suggest that this long, thin sloping zone is filled with unusually warm material and forms parts of a mantle plume that stretch all the way from Mexico. The researchers calculate that the mantle is hotter than any of its surroundings, reaching temperatures around 600 to 80 degree, 800 degrees Celsius, that's 1,100 to 1,450 degrees Fahrenheit. This hot column may be enough to drive surface activity at the park, scientists said, and may explain a recent increase in volcanic activity there. Previous studies have been unable to identify if a magma plume runs under the park because imaging techniques available to scientists were not accurate enough. The researchers, led by University of Texas geologist Dr. Peter Nelson, wrote in their paper, our results strongly support a deep origin for the Yellowstone hotspot and also provide evidence from the existence of thin thermal mantle plumes that are currently beyond the resolution of global tomography models. Some are worried that recent heightened volcanic activity at Yellowstone may indicate the park's subsurface supervolcano may be about to erupt, to erupt, and below the surface of Yellowstone, which lays across parts of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, lies the caldera supervolcano, volcano, which last had a super eruption about 630,000 years ago. Yellowstone is home to several faults and has a long history of seismic activity as natural processes occur beneath the surface and stress effects from past events continue to maintain their hold. The area remains a hotbed of seismicity and swarm activity according to USGS. A series of uh, tremors, many tremors recently raised fears Yellowstone's volcano is uh, becoming more active. And uh, experts said, though, that this is a relatively quiet period for tremors in the area. Normally, there are 50 minor earthquakes uh, around the volcano each week. Uh, Tom Skilling, meteorologist for WGN News, local site, uh, news site in Chicago, said, minor earthquakes occur at Yellowstone area 50 or more times a week, but a major eruption is not expected in the foreseeable future. This is by Harry Petit, Daily Mail, on Bedded Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. 
You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.